God, whatever you want me to do. And I felt like he said, I want you to make a 12-foot wooden cross and begin walking through the streets of Tulsa on Good Friday. Yeah. And I wrestled with it. I thought that's the dumbest idea I ever had because surely God wouldn't call me to do something like that. I'm, I'm too shy, I'm too fearful, I'm too insecure. And it was so cold on Friday morning. It was misty and cold. And we carried the cross from um, graduate housing over to, I had a class that morning at ORU. We finished that night about 9.30 or 10. We were exhausted and triumphant. I had this cross for 24 years, the one that I carry. The easiest roundup is, is almost 20,000. Actually walking. Actually walking. That's a lot of miles. And, and I think he's called me to do this. And so I think he's called me to go into all the world. I think he meant it. I think I'm supposed to go to every country, every uh, inhabited place in this world. How's you, Dwayne? How you doing? I've been out downtown forever. I, I remember you. How you doing, man? I thank you so much for Dwayne. I pray you would bless him. Thanks for letting us see each other again today. Let him know how much you love him. Let him know how precious he is in your eyes. Thank you for Dwayne. And so whenever I read of war, I, I feel like that's where God would have me be. And that was when I understood what war was really about. Um, I understood that it wasn't about land, politics, and religion as much as it was about hurt, anger, and unforgiveness. You know, you kill my, my mama, so I'm going to kill your mama. So since I kill your mama, you're going to kill my child. Since you kill my child, I'm going to kill your child. And so where do we start? Er, and and where, does, where does war stop? Mm -hmm. Hey. All right, all right, Good. I'm Keith. David. David. Out for a walk today? I was in Rwanda in 1994, and that horrible, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. It was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I can't tell you how bad it was. And, and I've been through, I mean, I was in South Lebanon, bombs falling there. I walked through El Salvador, tanks in the streets. I was in Chechnya. I was in Bosnia. You know, I've, I've been in all this situation. I've, to me, what I saw in Rwanda was all those put together rolled into one. I mean, it was horrible, horrible. Because when you see a cross, what does it make you think about? Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But the cross as a message is, I'm not good enough. And I'll never be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I know, me neither. So that's why he came. Oh, yeah. And he paid a price, and he has a gift for you. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't have an organization behind me. I don't have anything for anybody to join. Safely, that you've been with him these 25 years in Tulsa. He is to you. Thank you for his friendship and his welcome to me. And may he have the grace to open it up and receive you and your love. I, I don't walk as even as a world traveler. I, I'm a follower of Jesus, and as best as I know how, I'm trying to follow Him.